Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and if you couldn't tell by the title, we're going to be talking about whether Black Ops 3 is fun or not still this far into its life cycle. And, you know, it, it's, it's really not that fun anymore, for a number of reasons, which I'll get into. And the first of those being supply drops. And why are supply drops bad for this game? What are, why, why does that make this game not fun? Why does it make it stale? All of that stuff. Well, first of all, let's start with the basics about supply drops. So you earn crypto keys, and then those crypto keys goes, go towards, you know, opening your supply drops. But you earn crypto keys so slowly, and the only good supply drops to open are the rare ones, and those are 30 crypto keys. And you earn 2-3 to three crypto keys a match, depending on whether you win or lose, how good you do, and whatever, right? So... Imagine you're playing Black Ops and you're losing consecutive matches, so it's basically two crypto keys a match, considering you're doing like okay, right? And so you're uh, you've gotten two crypto keys a match. You want to get to 30. Let's say you're starting at zero. That's gonna take you 15 matches, and uh, assuming every match takes about eight minutes, 15 times eight is essentially 120 minutes, which is two hours, right? So, two hours of your time is going towards getting one supply drop. And th that's bad for a number of reasons. One, the playability on this game suddenly just got a lot more frustrating. Because you want what's in those supply drops, you want the cosmetics, you want the weapons, whatever. But you're not getting any of that because you're wasting two hours of your time just getting the crypto keys for it. And it's a really stupid process. And the other thing that's bad about supply drops is the chance of you getting the new weapons that they put in these supply drops. Now let's, over, let's say for example you want the HG40, right? There is literally a below 1% chance that in the next supply drop you open you will receive that weapon and that weapon, right? I just said that twice, but oh well. But there, there is such a low chance of you getting these new weapons that not only is the grind to get these new weapons essentially a waste of time, it's also essentially a waste of money if you're buying COD points. Because while you do have an increased chance of getting these new weapons with COD points, you're still not guaranteed anything for, sp for spending, let's say, $20 on some supply drops, right? You're not guaranteed anything for putting money into the system. It's essentially gambling, but for virtual weapons. And, you know, the same argument can be put towards, well, I mean, you can't actually put it towards anything else, but for the most part, it's a gambling for a weapon you want, but you know you're not going to get anything, but you keep putting money in the cycle, and that tells Activision, hey, uh, this this is doing really well for us, and we're going to keep doing it because you keep putting money in it, which is stupid. But, so now we've gotten through the crypto key earn rate, the chance of getting these new weapons, what, what makes this stale? It's because that when you're playing the game and you're grinding your crypto keys to get the weapons you want, you happen to find somebody else who has the weapon you want, and you kill them, you take their, you take that gun, you start using it yourself in game till you die, and that is it's very discouraging because you see a weapon that you want but don't have that somebody else has. And you know that the grind you're going through to open up your next supply drop isn't going to be worth it because you know you're not going to get that weapon, you're going to get two shitty skins and some stupid talk. And I'm going to be real here, I'm going to say that most people in the Call of Duty community right now don't give two fucks about the cosmetics at this point in time. They want the new weapons, even the YouTubers that are bigger and that are making videos on new weapons they're having to go to other people whose luck is better than them, who have gotten these new weapons. They have to use their accounts to make the videos. And that's stupid for a number of reasons, because YouTubers just want to be able to use their own account so they can do their thing and make the video themselves and not have to take somebody else's account for their Xbox or PlayStation and then use that, you know? It's just something that would make it a lot easier if you could just get the weapons and move on. But sadly, that doesn't happen, and it just discourages you. 
you see somebody else using these weapons and you no longer want to play the game because it's just discouraging to look at somebody else and say, well, why the fuck do you have that? Because I want that and I know I'm not going to get that no matter how many supply drops I open. Because the Crypto Gear and Raid is absolutely terrible and my chances of getting these new weapons are absolutely poor. Huh. You know, Troyrick and Activision, they've known that for a long time throughout the life cycle of this game that people are kind of fed up with the Crypto Gear and Raid and all of that other junk and how you can't get supply drops as much as you want to, so they added in the contract system. Which while that is a decent system for you to earn your uh crypto keys and get your supply drops a little bit quicker and get a few more of them it, it's still kind of bullshit because you can get 10 crypto keys a day by doing the daily uh, contract and you can get 30 a week for doing the two weekly contracts and there are two reasons why that is bullshit first of all the, the 10 crypto keys from daily that's great but it, it doesn't quite help you enough in the long run, I would say. And the 30 crypto keys a week is also a lot a load of bullshit because you're doing two challenges that take you a long time to do. I'd say depending on what they are, it's anywhere between like four to twelve hours for you to really like get it all together if you uh, four to twelve hours, right? So the the reason why the 30 crypto key thing is bullshit for two challenges because it takes you basically uh, a load longer to do that while you're earning crypto keys and it's just it's just a mess because you're doing two weekly things so in the course of seven days doing two challenges you would expect like a hundred or so crypto keys because this is over the span of a week doing these challenges but no no you get 30 and, and that doesn't really show anything for your hard work and effort and your dedication to still play this game after the fact that all of this negativity and criticism is being thrown out there you're not really getting anything for your money's worth on this game anymore the satisfaction has gone out the window with these supply drops and whatnot. now the other reason why this why this game is very stale I went oh well, it's not really stale for for the reason I'm about to give you but it's very frustrating to play as of this most recent patch that's uh, tossed out Descent for Xbox One. I've also heard these issues are going on with PlayStation as well, and I, I, I'm not entirely certain if they released the patch there too, which is why these problems are happening, but the main issue that you've probably noticed while watching the gameplay and listening to the commentary is the fact that the frames keep skipping every so often. And r right there, you just saw it too. Right before it said Ripper is ready, you saw the frame skip just a little bit as I was moving. And while, you know, it's not a whole, like, it's not a big deal if you're just moving around the map, you know, whatever. But as soon as you get into a gunfight and you're shooting at somebody, and the frame skip and your reticle shoots to the left or the right, you're gonna get pretty mad. I was pretty mad. The other thing that I've noticed with this game is the fact that the uh, that there's sticky aim on the score streaks when they're behind the objects. Why is that bad? Because you're gonna think it's some prone behind that ball and not a score streak, so you're gonna go in there blindly and attack it, and then you're gonna die. So that that's another issue I have. It's not as big. But the frame skipping is a very big one because that's literally all you see when you play this game now. Is you're about to kill somebody, the last shot you need is the last one in the magazine, you're about to kill them, the frame skips, the guy jumps off the reticle or your reticle jumps off of them, whichever one happens, maybe both happen. But it happens, you miss the last shot, you die because you then have to reload because you don't have a secondary, but it's not like any of the secondaries are really any good in this game anyways. And then, you know, death is inevitable, you die, you get knocked off a kill streak, whatever. But it is extremely annoying to play with frame skipping, and I'm really hoping that they patch this for the people who actually still want to continue playing this game because I, I only got on just to get the gameplay to show you that the frame skipping is happening, it's a problem, 
and they tell you that supply drops are garbage and we should get rid of them or at least, at least, make it so you can earn like five or six every two hours, like double the earn rate, double or triple the earn rate. Because if you take, if we go back to the beginning, when supply drops were introduced with Advanced Warfare, Sledgehammer did a few things that were actually really nice with their supply drop system. Is that they, when they started out, they had just regular supply drops, and they eventually created the advanced supply drop, which, you know, those were better supply drops than ever. But to, you know, just, just take it back to the introduction of supply drops in Advanced Warfare, you were, you were given supply drops for every, for a certain amount of time played uh, while you were playing or whatever. So let, let's just say, for instance, these aren't the actual numbers for uh, when you get a supply drop. But let's just say every 20-30 minutes you would get a supply drop, right? That's like three or four matches. So you're basically getting a supply drop uh, essentially like every, you know, half hour. And you're getting these supply drops, you're getting them pretty regularly. Not only do you get supply drops for amount of time playing, but there's a daily supply drop challenge which you are guaranteed a supply drop for doing whatever the challenge is, and so that adds another supply drop, uh, supply drop on your repertoire of supply drops earned that day, right? And then the other thing that was nice about it uh, was that you could, let's say you were doing really poorly a couple matches in a row, and you really didn't want to play the game anymore because you were frustrated, you would get a supply drop because that would encourage you to keep playing. While people did abuse this back in Advanced Warfare, they got banned for it. So, you know, no harm, no foul. Right? Whatever. But, the, uh, the, that was the nice thing about the introduction of supply drops, was that you were basically, you were guaranteed supply drops for playing the game, not for how many stupid currencies you acquired throughout your time. But you were rewarded for playing the game and just playing the game and having a good time, and then you were rewarded if you wanted to take that a step further and do something a little bit more tactical. And let's say the challenge is get some Nexo launcher kills at hardpoint, whatever. Then you could go ahead, you could do that, and you get yourself another supply drop. Then, they, uh, when advanced supply drops really became a thing, the the advanced supply drops actually guaranteed you an elite weapon or oh, no, I shouldn't say an elite weapon but they guaranteed you an elite item for you to have and that was it was really a solid way of doing things because it it really works out there they can't speak it worked out in your favor quite a bit with getting an elite something for your hard work of just continuously leveling and playing the game and all that and then they also introduced getting advanced supply drops every time you prestige. And why was that a good thing? Because it incentivizes you to keep playing, keep getting weapons, keep getting your supply drops, and then boom, you enter prestige at level 50, you get yourself an advanced supply drop, you open it up, and then bada bing bada boom, you either get what you want or you don't, but at least you got an elite something. And so Advanced Warfare did the system a lot better in those regards. And one other thing that I, I loved about the way that Advanced Warfare did supply drops was the fact that let's say you open a supply drop, but you don't get anything really useful out of it, you had a chance of getting a passive item called Rapid Supply Time. And that would essentially double the chances of you earning a supply drop within the amount of time allotted. And so there were, there were also different rarities of these rapid supply times. And they would range from 10 minutes to about an hour for how long you could uh, essentially have the chance of earning another supply drop and keep earning supply drops, right? And so they also would not end after you earned a supply drop, they would keep going. So you could essentially keep earning supply drops at a faster rate if the, if the likelihood of you getting those supply drops was higher, right? And so that that's why Advanced Warfare did the system a lot better than the way that Treyarch is doing it right now. Well, we all know at the start of Black Ops 3, these supply drops were supposed to be cosmetic, 
But then, you know, Activision's like, hey, hey, let's, let's slide in these non-cosmetic items, we'll earn a little bit more money, it'll make us all very happy. And people were like, eh? The community's like, no, no, we, we just want the weapons, you know, just kind of like roll them in for the, the season pass people. And it never happened, and all the season pass people get is the glorification of saying you wasted $50 on our DLC. That's... That really, the, the first two map packs weren't that great. <laughs> the, the, the third one was, was much better, as far as those items are concerned. But, to recap, essentially, why, why Black Ops 3 is stale, why it's frustrating to play, why the community base is essentially dying for this game, it's mainly because supply drops are absolute shit because the crypto key earn rate is so goddamn low. And for the fact that your chance of getting new weapons is below the tol tolerable amount of percentage you would like. And, you know, it's discouraging seeing other people with better luck than you and you just don't want to have to deal with it and that's why you stop playing. And while the contract system fixes a little bit of this, it doesn't fix the big issue of supply drops are killing the game, what can we do about it? It's more of, hey, here's this really small temporary fix that, who, who cares, right? Like, you do it or you don't, it doesn't help you in the long run whatsoever if you're getting a weapon. It's like, here, have a, have a little bit more of a chance of getting something, but it's like, that, that doesn't help when the chances are so low to begin with. So that's why Black Ops 3 is essentially the stalest Call of Duty I've ever played. And like, I've gone back to Advanced Warfare and played that game that, in the past couple of months. That game is more alive than this game. Like, the, I, I will say the amount of players sometimes is a little lackluster if you want to find a TDM match, but at least the player base there is actually, you know, playing the game, doing what they can. The people in this game are tryharding the living shit out of it because there's something better to do with their time, and they have they get a tiny percentage more on their crypto fee bar for earning the next one. And why is Black Ops frustrating? To recap that part, it's because of the frame skipping. The frame skipping is so awful. You got like you're about to kill somebody, you don't kill them because the frame is skipped. You get pissed. You just want to just throw your Xbox or PS4 in a corner and just shoot it with a shotgun. Maybe you don't want to go that far, but you just take the disc out, or you want to install the game. But if you take the disc out, you're gonna shoot it with a shotgun. And that, that, that's essentially how it makes me feel when I play the game from this frame sticker. I just want to kill the game, okay? But that's really going to do it for today's video on why Black Ops 3 is stale, why it's frustrating, why I despise the game now more than I've ever despised the Call of Duty in the past. But thank you for watching and there will be, you know, new videos coming whenever I find something to talk about because I don't just want to pump out stupid content that nobody enjoys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content when I get good ideas.